Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, with the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have another fantastic program, the program called Iqra Quiz. We know that you've been waiting for this wonderful program. Like the other week, this is this week, alhamdulillah, we have another two new contestants. They are going to compete each other. So I welcome all of you in this Islamic quiz show. So alhamdulillah, today we have with us two genius contestants. Contestants, first we have Araf Rahman. Assalamu alaikum wa raf. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Araf? Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Nice to have you here. MashaAllah. Then we have next to Araf, we have Adyan Ahmad. Assalamu alaikum, Adyan. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Adyan? Alhamdulillah, be khair. Mashallah, mashallah. Nice to have you here in this quiz show. So both of you ready for the quiz? Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, inshallah. Simple, simple rule for the competition. A question will be asked to you and your question will appear on the screen. And then you'll have four options. If you want the options, we will give you the option. And one answer is right. If you choose the correct answer, you'll get five. But wrong answer, there will be no score. Right? But if you give the wrong answer, and then the second person will have chance that is the challenge he's going to take the challenge if he gives the correct answer he gets five but if he gives the wrong answer then will be minus five so you make sure that your score always you are winning i want i want that one of you should win and go to the final so Without any Jew, shall we start? Yes. You yes. ready? Inshallah. Inshallah. What about you, Araf? You ready? Inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. So, respected viewers, if you want to enroll your child also in this competition, you can send his name, date of birth. The tax number is 073-87-616-816. You can text or WhatsApp on this number. So, let's start. Inshallah? Okay. First question goes to Araf Rahman. Araf, that's your question on the screen. Look at this look at the screen and the question. Which companion of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was from Ethiopia? Do you want the options? Yes. You want options? Okay. We will give you options. A is Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Option B Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Then you get option C. Ammar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And option D. Uthman radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Which companion you think is from Ethiopia? Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So you chose B, option B. 
Yes. And you think this is the correct answer? Yes. Positive? Yes. Do you want to change your mind? No. Okay. If you think this is the correct answer, Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, yes, he is one of the great companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We will lock the answer and see whether your answer is right. If you, if you give the correct answer, obviously your point will be five. So the final uh, call to you, that you're saying the B is the right answer, I'm going to lock it. Shall I lock it? Yes. Okay, there you go. Uh-oh, Araf, that was the wrong answer. Now, the chance for Adyan. Adyan, would you like to take the challenge? Remember, Adyan, if you give the correct answer, you'll get five. But if you give the wrong answer, that will be minus five. Although you don't have no score at the moment, but later on when you, you'll have some score from there, five will be minus. Would you like to take the challenge? No, I'll pass. Pass? Okay. I don't want to No problem. Risk. Um, Adyan doesn't like to take the challenge, but what answer, in fact, which one was the right one? Let me tell you, the right answer was, that was the Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he was from, from Ethiopia, Habasha. But alhamdulillah, uh, so far, what we have at the end is zero. And Araf, that was Araf's turn, couldn't score anything. But now the next question will go to, who's next? Me. Mm, Adyan. Adyan, there's your question on the screen. The question is, a sunnah prayer recited after midnight is called Definitely you need some options. Yes. Okay. Option A is Tarawih. Option B is Tahajjud. Option C is Witir. And option D is Istikhara. One of the Salah that is Sunnah Salah, of course, and it is recited after midnight. Which Salah is it? Is it Tarawih, Tahajjud, Witir, or Istikhara? Istikhara. Istikhara. So, the D. And you think it is the correct answer? Yes. You don't like to change your mind? No, I don't like to. You have to stick with the answer? Yes. Okay. If you say the D is the correct answer, we will lock the answer and see whether your answer is right. Ready? Yes. There you go. Uh oh. So Adyan, unfortunately your answer is wrong answer. Now, Araf, what do you think? Tarawi. Tarawi. So that is, you took the challenge. You took the challenge. If this answer, Tarawi, if, if it is wrong, then you'll be minus five. So would you like to take the challenge? Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. Inshallah. So, Araf, this is the big challenge 
Although you don't have no score at the moment, but later on when you'll have score, you'll be, it will be minus five, okay? Okay, never mind. I like your courage. You, you have strong mind. You're saying it is the Taraweeh after midnight, a sunnah prayer. Final answer. No. So which is the final answer? Witter. Witter. Okay. So this is your final answer. Option C. Option C? Yes. Okay. There you go. So Ara, Araf, you took the challenge. That was wrong. Even the A you chose in the first place, Tarawi was wrong as well. In fact, the correct answer is after midnight we read a sunnah prayer that is Tahajjud Salah. Okay. So <clears throat> Um, the score at the moment, both of you, zero, and, uh, and uh, Araf minus five, okay? But still, there's a lot to go. Don't dishearten yourself. There's a lot to come. Okay. Next. Next question goes to Araf. There's your question, Araf, on the screen. Who is the father of Jinn? Do you need options? Yes. Okay. Option A. Option A for you is Azazil. Option B for you is Ifrit. Option C is Iblis and option D is Mari. Like how we have our, our father is the Adam alayhi salam, jinn have also their father. Who is it? Is it Azazil? Is it Ifrit? Is it Iblis? Or is he Mari? Iblis. Iblis. Final answer. Yes. You don't like to change your mind? No. Okay. Araf, if you say it is Iblis, shall I lock it? Yes. Okay. Question was who is the father of Jinn? And Araf, he decided it is the option C. So we are going to lock the answer. C. Alhamdulillah. That was the right answer. That was the correct answer. Alhamdulillah. So Araf, now you scored five, but because you had the minus five before, you lost that five at the moment. Alhamdulillah. So both of you are zero. Next, we have with us is Adyan. This is your turn, Adyan. Question to you. Which one of the Muhammad Sallallahu names mean most praise? Most praise. Okay. I will give you the option. Okay. There will be four options. Option A is Mahi. Option B is Mahmoud. Option C is Muhammad. And option D is Ahmad. So Adyan, you see there, all these four names, all these four names belongs, belong to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Just all his names. But, but one of the names mean most praise. Which one is it? 
Hey, Mahi. You think Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's name Mahi meaning most praised? No, Muhammad. Muhammad. That is your final answer. Yes, Muhammad sallallahu. Muhammad. You think it means the most praised? Yes. Huh? You don't like to change your mind? No. No? What if your answer is wrong? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Inshallah. We hope best for you inshallah. Maybe I don't know maybe most praise is mean Muhammad. Let's see. Let's check. The answer you chose Muhammad Uh, that was the wrong answer. Most praise does not mean Muhammad. So, in this time as well, you couldn't score anything. But there's another person standing by. If he takes the challenge, and if he thinks he can give the correct answer. We are going to go to Araf. Ahmad. Ahmad. Okay. If you say Ahmad, we will lock the answer and see does it mean most praised. Okay, Araf. There you go. Final answer, Ahmad. Yes. Okay. If he say so, Ahmad. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So Araf scored. Mashallah, that's the bonus in Alhamdulillah. So Araf, you have five. And Adyan has no score yet. Okay. But he could have got ten. But never mind. Next turn to... Araf. Araf, your question on the screen. Who was the first person to accept Islam? The four names will be given to you. You need to decide who is, who was the first. Okay? There is all your four options. A. Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu B Abu Bakr radiyallahu ta'ala anhu C Khadija radiyallahu ta'ala anha and D Fatima radiyallahu ta'ala anha So among these four who accepted Islam first Abu Bakr Abu Bakr radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. This is your final answer. Yes. Yes? Okay. If you think it is Abu Bakr, shall I look it? Yes. 100%? Yes. Confident? Yes. Okay. If you are so confident, I'm going to lock the answer. You said Abu Bakr was the first person among these four. Okay. So this is, I'm going to lock the answer. Uh -uh. I'm so sorry. Araf. That wasn't the right answer. Okay. Adyan, would you like to take challenge? No, I'll pass again. You pass again. I don't want to take the risk. <laughs> okay. If you don't like to take the challenge, that's fine. Absolutely fine, alhamdulillah. 
Mm, Abu Bakr, uh, yes, Abu Bakr was one, uh, one of the first person to accept Islam among all the elderly people who ever accepted Islam, Abu Bakr was the first. But among these four, Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha, she was the first person to accept Islam. Khadija, Khadija was the wife of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And first thing, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam approached her and she accepted him as a prophet. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he's, he's an outsider, not immediate family. But anyway, that was your question and your answer was wrong. Okay, and obviously Adyan didn't take the challenge, but still, Araf, you have five, and Adyan at the moment is zero. So Adyan, your turn now. Okay, Adyan, ready? Adyan, this is your question on the screen. Which family member of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam resembled him the most? So like, 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 who like look okay. after him the most? No, look alike. Oh. One of the family member of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to look like him the most. I'll give you the option. See which one you think he was looking at mostly with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. See the options? Look. Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Muhsin radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Hassan radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Ali. Among these four, one, one person, he resembled him, he was looked alike to Muhammad sallallahu islam. Who was that person? Ali, Ali radiallahu anhu. Ali radiallahu anhu. This is your final answer. Yes. Yes? You don't like to cha take your mind, change your mind? No. No? No. No. Okay. If your answer is right, you'll score. But if answer is wrong, that will be zero. Let's see and check whether your answer was right or wrong. There you go. Unfortunately, your answer was wrong. So the chance for Araf, would you like to take, take the challenge? Yes. Remember, you have five at the moment. You are winning. But if you give the wrong answer, that minus will be, that five will be minus. So you'll be zero and you lose. What you to do? Hassan. So you want to take the challenge as Hassan. Option D. Yes. Okay. Let me check and find out whether your answer was right or wrong. Yes. Okay. Shall I lock it? Yes. Hassan. Oh, very good. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. First class, mashallah, your answer was right. Alhamdulillah, A'raf. That was five. So today it was beautiful program, mashallah. A'raf and Adyan, they were competing each other. And the final question was to Adyan, but he couldn't give the right answer so it went to araf and araf took the challenge and he says hassan radiallahu ta'ala anhu resembled him to muhammad sallallahu islam the most so uh, and today's call alhamdulillah obviously as you know araf won the competition he scored 10 and adyan is zero uh, araf could have get 15 his one challenge was wrong but mashallah it was very very nice very very enjoyable mashallah so araf goes to the uh, next uh, uh, final audition uh, to the next program uh, araf will be again for the final 
and Adyan, uh, Adyan goes home. But inshallah, that was very nice. Uh, we, alhamdulillah, every one of you are welcome. If your age is between 9 and 11, 9, 10, 11 in this age group, we call you to come to the studio. If you want to join to this program, then you have to text or WhatsApp in the following number. That is 073-876-16816 to Ikhabangla Studio. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.